Hello everybody, this is Terry Nance and this is 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. Uh, hit that subscribe button, go to my website godsarmorbearer.com, get the material, let this material touch you, bless you, and I pray, and you know, really I honestly pray it brings just a new revelation, a new fervency in your heart for the things of God to fulfill your call and connect with your pastor and connect with the local church. And I trust that the pastors who catch this uh, eight minutes strong, you'll you'll you know encourage your congregation, encourage people to to just listen to this. Believe me. There's, there's a revelation that I have, and I know God's used me to birth this into the body of Christ. And I'm not saying to put that put a feather in my hat. I'm saying it's all by His grace, and I'm thankful the Lord used me in this in this place. But these these revelations will change your life, and you will never fulfill your call until you have the heart of a servant. It's just not going to happen. I don't care what kind of title. Titles are good for about three months, and that's all they're good for. Because if you don't have stability, faithfulness, these key things in your life, and you're not being faithful in the small things, God will never promote you in the way that you desire to. Uh, one of the major points here we're talking about, I'm teaching on how to stand with your pastor. And I, and I talked about in prayer and I talk, talked about using your gifts and your talents. And number three is you're, you're going to support your pastor by being accountable to them. You know, it's interesting because when you look at the Apostle Paul, I mean, we can all say, I mean, there wasn't a greater apostle than Paul. He wrote two thirds of the New Testament, but it's very interesting uh, in Galatians, you find something about the Apostle Paul. Uh, of course, Paul was outside of the Apostles. The Apostles knew of him, but they didn't They didn't know about him. And then Barnabas comes and brings Paul, and this is something like 14 years had passed, and he's standing in the presence of Peter and all these Apostles. And the Bible says that he says this right here in Galatians 2.2, 2, I went up by revelation and I communicated to them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles. Paul, now you got to stop and think. Jesus appears to him, gives him this revelation, and tells him to take it to the Gentiles. Then why in the world would he need to submit to anybody? And that's the question. But I want you to see the heart of God. The, the commission of the gospel was given to the first apostles, not him. He was the one responsible for holding the coat of Stephen at his death, first martyr. Paul, Paul was not involved in this. But in the apostle Paul and also the spirit of God recognizes those who are in authority. So Paul brings his revelation that Jesus gave him. And think about it again. He saw Jesus and Jesus, he says, 2 Corinthians 12, I was caught up into the third heaven. I heard things not even lawful for men to, men to speak. He sat at the feet of Jesus in heaven and got the revelation of who we are in Christ and presented it to the church. Now, you're talking about heavy revelation. That was the apostle Paul. But notice his accountability. And the spirit of God does this to him and tells him, go to Jerusalem. He said, I came by revelation, which was by the Holy Ghost and communicate the gospel which you're preaching to the apostles. And here's what it said. And he said, and I did this privately to those who were a reputation, lest that any, any means I might run or had run in vain. And that's amazing. He took this incredible revelation that he had, and he went to the 12 and sat down and said, you know, I know you guys, whether you trust me or not, this is what Jesus has done. I have been faithful. Barnabas can testify to this. Others can testify. But before I do anything, I want to submit this revelation to you. And these guys listened to the Apostle Paul. And without a doubt, they watched that heart of a servant. They watched that heart of submission. And of course, they said, oh my, go for it. We're all for you. But the Holy Spirit had Paul do that. You, you know, uh, I, I've had people come 
uh, into my office. I had an individual come and say, you know, God called me to raise this uh, radio station in a certain city and I need your support. And I just simply asked, well, I said, okay, well, I've never met you. So can you tell me what church you're out of? He said, well, I, I don't believe in just one church. I, I just kind of float all over. And I said, okay. And I said, well, then who, who is your pastor? And he said, Jesus is my pastor. And I said, well, that sounds real spiritual, but that's not how things work. And I said, so you know what? You be blessed, but we're not supporting you. And the man got mad and ran out of my office. Well, this is the thing. There's no accountability. Uh, well, well, but Pastor Terry, God's called me and I'm not going to submit to man. Well, you know what? Then you're violating the scripture because the Bible is perfect perfectly clear that you are to submit to the elders who are over your life. In fact, 100% because they watch for your soul. So you're unscriptural. You're actually violating the Holy Spirit. And you say, no, I'm being led by the Spirit. No, you're not. You're being led by another Spirit, but not by the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is a submitted Spirit. And if the Apostle Paul submitted himself, then I think you you ought to be big enough to do the same thing. Go to your pastors and your leaders and, and share your heart. And don't go in there saying, well, the Holy Spirit told me to do this. I had someone do that to me. And I said, well, why are you asking my opinion? If the Holy Spirit told you to do it, uh, why do you need me to say yes or no? Because if I say no, then I'm violating the Holy Spirit. And I said, now, number one, your whole, your whole you know, concept of this is wrong. You, you should go to your leaders and say, I am feeling directed, but number one, I am totally submitted to you guys. You guys share with me uh, if it's a plus or minus, and I'll hold off. And when you do that, then you're submitted to authority. And it's very important that anything we do in the kingdom, that we have people who sharpen us, and especially people who we are accountable to. And you know why? Because we're all capable of missing it. And the Bible's perfectly clear throughout the scripture, how that we are to submit to our pastors, submit to those who are over us. So I, I'm encouraging, especially in this day where no one wants to submit to anybody. No one's going to tell me what to do. That's a spirit of antichrist and it's a wrong spirit. No, the Holy Spirit is a, a submitted spirit. I, I had people come in and tell me, oh, I'm a prophet. And, and one day I got so tired of that. I just said, well, this is a nonprofit ministry. <laughs> and I know I wasn't saying that being being ugly, but it was I was so tired of people coming in telling me what their gift was instead of seeing the heart of a servant. I told an individual, I said, you go clean the bathrooms, help in the in the hospitality and other areas, and then we'll see if you really are a prophet. And of course, they prophesied themselves right out the back door. Uh, why? Because they have a wrong spirit, not accountable to anybody. They're not going to be accountable to, to elders. And besides that, my gift is not accountable to anybody. Really? Well, the whole thing, you don't even understand. You're violating the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the one who wrote the Bible. So stay in the word, stay faithful, and stay account accountable. And if you missed it, go to your leaders, ask them to forgive you. Get your heart right. Get all this out. And, and get it clean because you don't want to uh, allow the devil to steal your gift. All right, let me bless you. Father, I pray, I bless everyone watching this. And Father, if, we, if we're in any area of re rebellion or whatever, forgive us. If we're not submitting to authority, we repent of it and we determine our hearts. We're gonna do what you say to do in Jesus' name. God bless you and I trust you have a wonderful day. Be blessed.